What's up guys, Kaidom here, and this is uh, BR Zone with the minimap. And so here we are, uh, if I press tab, we have our overview map, which we can uh, zoom in and pan the camera as we want. And of course, at the bottom right, we also have a minimap, which tracks our location. Uh, and of course, these uh, circles are where the uh, zone is currently moving and the blue one is the target location so as soon as it gets to the blue zone it will of course update uh, to where it should go next so let's go ahead and wait and see what happened um, here this red guy right, uh, right here is just a dummy actor so um, so the zone is about to get there and as you can see we get our next uh, uh, target location and and the bottom right uh, at the top right. Sorry. Uh, we have our message there uh, Countdown of uh, when the zone w uh, is going to shrink um, So this mini map has a feature that allows you to add something to track So if you have your teammates or anything you want any actor that you want to track uh, in the mini map You can add that actor easily just like we did here, and I'll show you that later um so uh, later I will show you how to set the, uh, the zone, how like you can add as many steps as you want. But for now, let's go ahead and take some damage. Uh, and as you can see, uh, as soon as I'm outside, I'm start, uh, I start taking damage and a post uh, processing is activated in the character. Uh, so if I, of course, if I go here and I die, there you go. Um, so the zone itself is, you can go ahead and select it here. If we just select the, the zone, um, go here uh, top this is our zone right here we can move it whenever you want uh, so let's go back to perspective so if I set the zone go to the details panel right here uh, we have these uh, this section right here uh, called uh, zone settings right here so zone initial uh, scale is is uh, essentially just a scale of the zone you can like reduce it right there or based on your map of course uh, the Z scale is of course the Z scale uh, separate from the X and Y the initial delay is the initial delay of the zone, the uh, amount or duration that it uh, has to uh, wait before it uh, starts uh, or gets the uh, next location where it should go. And of course, max shrink value, this is the um, final shrink, uh, so two or one, depending on what you want. Uh, starts hitting is whether the zone should start uh, hidden or, or not. Uh, so we have it true here so when we play of course we don't see the zone until this um first delay of course um our uh, zone steps here are um a struct uh it has like four uh values you can add as many as you want right now we have three um so you can have an id here like some kind of id if you want uh shrink speed and um the uh the post time so when uh it gets to this step right here how long it should wait and then the damage per second this is your uh, uh based on what step uh, the zone is at uh, currently you can of course apply more damage as you go in so typically as you go as you get like in the final uh, steps of the zone you tend to take more damage so you can set this here Let's go ahead and take a look at our player controller here and this is where we create our uh, widgets and handle the zone events so uh, we have our uh, zone info widget where we of course um, have our health here and our messages here uh, and we also have our uh, zone overview here which have uh, which has both the uh, overview uh, map as well as the um, smaller map here so here in the settings here you have your uh, colors here you can select the uh, main circle tint and the zone next circle tint as well and the circle thickness if you want uh, if you want to change the minimap texture you can uh, do that and uh, also you need to uh, provide the map width here uh, so of course uh, the uh, calculations uh, work um, so if you don't if you have a new map and you want to uh, generate a new texture uh, you can simply go here to the um, mini map here and you have like this uh, texture capture tool you can just drop it here in the world um, set the uh, for example let's go to the location here um, so uh, location here I'm gonna uh, put a zero zero and of course the Z I can do something like 25,000 
so if you uh, hover over the uh, render target here, so this render target, uh, this render target is set in this uh, uh, scene capture. Uh, so of course, so whatever it captures is saved here. Let's go ahead and open that. As you can see, whatever this sees here uh, is uh, saved here. So uh, if you have like a smaller map or a bigger map, uh, you have this ortho width right here. So this is, as you can see there, it says the desired width. Uh, and world units of uh, the orthographic view ignored in perspective mode. So, uh, like I said, based on your uh, map, you wanna uh, change this ortho width right here uh, to get like a uh, to cover your uh, your map. If you have a smaller one, of course, you're gonna have a smaller value. If you have like a, a larger map, you can go ahead and increase that. And for example, if you just go ahead and put like 150,000, for example. Uh, there you go. And if you hover here, as you can see, it updates. So now it's capturing like more. Uh, than it needs. Uh, so my map here is 80, uh, about 80,000. Uh, you kind of want to uh, capture just a little bit more there uh, on the edges here so you don't get the stretching on the uh, uh, on your uh, material or uh, texture in general. So uh, once you have your uh, render uh, target showing the uh, texture that you would uh, like to have, uh, right click here on the render target and uh, select create a static texture. Now this is the static texture that you're going to use. Now this is very important. Once you do this, go ahead and remove the, c the scene capture 2D, otherwise you will kill your uh, performance. So this is what you want to use with your uh, minimap here. As you can see, we are using a static texture of 80k units. If we go to the uh, character here, uh, we have this uh, interface here. Let me show you here. So we have this uh, interface here with um, these events right here. So we have the begin play of the uh, zone, this uh, on zone destroyed, on zone inside, and when you're outside and when you're uh, taking damage. Uh, so this interface is uh, implemented in the player controller right here. So if you go to the interfaces here, you can see that we have BP zone interface. And this is used to, uh, of course, get the zone begin play. So when the zone is, uh, when the zone begin play uh, is triggered, uh, we handle uh, the zone uh, event. So when the zone is initialized, we do something. Uh, when the uh, zone is shrinking, we do something as well. When it's paused, we do something. And when the zone ends, we do something as well. Uh, and that's basically it. This is where uh, this is what the player controller is using this uh, interface for. Uh, but for the character here, uh, if we go to the character, my third person character, if we go to class settings here, uh, we have we also have the uh, interface uh, implemented. And here we're using it for um, for when we are in or outside the zone. We have this replicated variable. Uh, like I said, this is replicated. It works for multiplayer. Um, so here I'm using uh, event any damage. If you want to use, if you don't want to use this, you can also use the uh, uh, interface uh, event. Uh, and then of course we just update the uh, health, which is replicated. And this is, of course, since it's replicated, it will, of course, update the health. So if you want to add someone or a target in general to uh, the minimap here, uh, you can uh, go to the player controller here. And this is where we create our uh, zone, uh, not the zone, uh, the overview map here. Um, so we have a function called add new point of interest or POI. Uh, this is inside the um, this uh, BP zone tracker. This is what updates your uh, zone. It also acts as a mini map or overview map. So you can uh, call in, uh, call the add new uh, point of interest here. So you can just simply uh, like give it the uh, actor that you want to track, uh, select the position, uh, the size, and of course the tint. Uh, and here in our case, we're just getting this dummy uh, character, which is just placed on the word right here. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and find him. Uh, so here it is, it's a dummy uh, actor. And so I just look for uh, him here with the get all actors of class. And I just call, I added on both uh, zone trackers. And, and of course the uh, actor is uh, tracked. For uh, the zone material, we have this uh, material instance here uh, where you can of course customize some settings such as the uh, this uh, effect texture. It doesn't have to be a cloud texture. You can set it to something else. You should have like some kind of effect. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, change the uh, color here uh, to whatever you want. Feel free to play with these settings. Uh, the zone material is fairly uh, simple. You can definitely uh, expand it however you want. All right, so finally, I'm just going to go ahead and play with two players here. Just show you that it's replicated. And uh, if you have any questions, let me uh, let me know in the comments below. Or uh, you can contact me via email. Um, so as you can see, both players are uh, have the... Uh, Minimap and overview map working as well as the zone and they're both seen 
basically what's going on let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we are in the same game uh, so where is this guy here we go so we are in the same game um, as you can see um, so let's see if we can take some damage here uh, so let's just go ahead and run to the zone um, there you go you can also add other players to the minimap if you want just get a, a find like uh, use some kind of uh, find all actors of class or something similar and just call the add the uh, uh, targets and you should be fine uh, so let's go ahead and here and uh, the post processing of the character is of course inside the character if you don't like that you can just go ahead and remove it and as you can see here this guy is also going to start uh, taking some damage and based on the uh, damage settings that you sit in the zone and there you go both dead uh, if you go to the uh, player character, like I said, we have this post processing. So when we uh, unrip uh, in zone here, when we uh, we are in or out of the zone, of course, we just enable this post processing. So I think that's pretty much it. The links are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. And so until then, this is Kai Dooms signing off.